just at uh, GNR in um, Old Padrenia. So they called me, they want to chat to me a little bit more about um, this house. I'm just at Nick and Andrea's and having a look at Cindy Swine over here. And you can see it's imminent. Look, she's all nice and bagged up. And my other telltale, oh, she's trying to move it away. Is if you look, she doesn't want us to film her private parts. But um, if you were to see, you can see it's very slack. So I reckon it's very soon. And you can also see how she's bagged up. Look at the little udder at the bottom there. So, Cindy Swine, you are in the family way. So Nick, you're going to move her as soon as possible. Yes, that's tomorrow morning, first thing. Okay. And Andrea will be doing the chasing of pigs. Yes. <laughs> Cutest ducklings ever. Look what happened. So I was driving back from Nick and Andrea's place yesterday evening and uh, the quite narrow roads, these rural roads and one car came round like a bend on was on my side so to swerve away from the car I sort of bumped the window against a rubbish bin on the side of the road so this then came in, smashed so I went to Volkswagen and it is 264 euros i think which is a bit out of my price range so um i have found a um like a local mechanic that can get generic spares and it's going to be a fraction of the price of the volkswagen one so that'll arrive tomorrow so in the meantime this is what my side view mirror looks like so i went to go and collect my new um, bank card that has finally arrived i've got the cement that nick wanted i've got some hay for the or haylage for the sheep some straw for more bedding and lots of feed and i've got some little wooden i don't know what they call pieces of wood so I have one of my crazy ideas which might or might not work. So um, the vet needs me to have a pig crash. And I ordered one over a month ago from the agricultural supply store that I go to. And every time they say next week, next week, but next week hasn't, hasn't come and it hasn't arrived yet. So I've got this idea. I don't know if this wood is going to be strong enough but so I'm thinking of using this wood to make a frame and then if I get that that can go on that wood and then uh, these things. I've got got two of those and I've got another lock for a gate but here we go so I got a whole lot of these as well so I was thinking if I I don't know maybe that's not going to work so if I attach, it's going to have to go that way. So if I attach this onto like the gate post sort of area, something around there, then this can then slot into this and then I can move it around. So this frame, I'm going to put a piece of tin on. And then so it'll be frame with tin on that attached and then that onto the post and then I can just slide it in. So I'll have the other one 
higher up. That's the plan. Whether it works is a different story, but that's what I'm thinking. To make like a temporary pig crush while I'm waiting for this one to arrive. So I've been having a problem with this pump for um, a while now, but I haven't really been able to attend to it. It's been sort of pumping in like pulses like that. And, um, and I was no longer able to get hot water. So I was thinking that the gas cylinder was empty. So I took it to the garage. He said it was a third full. He didn't want to change it. But anyway, I have subsequently changed it for a full one. But still, I've got no hot water. And this is just pulsing. So Nick says it's to do with the compression. And he's got to come and fill up the compression or something. So he'll be coming to do that on Thursday. See how it's like pulsing the water and it doesn't get hot even if you turn it on. It just pulses like this. So this fruit tree is looking quite dead but if you go down over here you can see Oh, I don't know if you can focus in. But there's some new buds coming at the bottom, so it's not dead. I don't know, this one is looking a little bit on the dead side. But you never know. I thought trees were dead before and then they've come back to life. Okay, this is a pear. I think this one, I don't know if this one's going to recover. Mm, maybe. Maybe something coming. I don't know. But look at this one. This one is doing really well. So that's very encouraging. Yeah, I don't think the upland pear, tree, pear trees have made it in this area. It still remains of a, one of the avocados that we try to plant there. Yeah. Well, even if I've got one fruit tree growing here in this area, that's a bonus. And now I'm at my, my bottom field over here and I can see this one that looked like sticks, but look here. There's green leaves coming on that one. This one has flowers. Oh, look how beautiful this one is. Lots of flowers this year. And this madronia is looking good. This one seems to be doing well. I don't even know what it is. It seems to have lots of thorns. The well is still quite full. Although you can see the level has dropped a bit. But you can see it went right to the top. And those are the other fields and the other well where, where the pigs go. I was hoping to only offload tomorrow morning, but um, I need to get some feed out for sheep and pigs for tonight. There is some there, but probably not enough. So let me offload some stuff at least. enough for today rest I can do tomorrow got the sheep a little bit of lucerne as a treat as well um, it is actually marked as rabbit food but 
you can give them a little bit of lucerne. and you don't give them too much because it'll give them the runs but um, I can give them a little bit as a treat Feeding buckets all prepared. You eating? I can see how you guys have been destroying this fence along here. So this is going to um, this whole pen will get revamped. Hey, Coco Pop. Yes, you're going to move out of here. Um, her piglets are going from next week onwards because you can see she's starting to push them out the way now. Um, that's when they start like competing with her for food and she gets irritated with them. She's still feeding them. You can see they're very fat. There's one trying to grab a drink. So the last two weeks from when the piglets are about six weeks old, the mothers start, even though you give them, see how she chases them away now, even though you start giving extra feed, um, I don't know, I, my experience is that even with extra feed, the last two weeks takes its toll on the mothers and they just start losing weight. But you can see, even though it's spread out, <laughs> they'll, come, they'll keep going back to the end, so they won't go hungry, don't worry. But uh, she's definitely becoming competitive. She doesn't like them eating her food. They're very cute. Aren't you cute? Yes. You're coming to say hello. Tomorrow I'm going to come in and do some brushes. Okay. Some brushes for you tomorrow. But you guys are very, very fat. What do you say, Mags? Pigs are all happy. They're always happy when they're eating. So gingerbreads ones are going to be going not this weekend. Actually, no, it's not gingerbreads ones. Yeah, maybe next next weekend or the week after um they will be going and i'm sure she'll be very happy to uh, get rid of them because they are still drinking and they're very very fat and then i'm going to do like a big move i'm going to move the boys so chris Clarence, who's neutered. Uh, Oros is going to go and join Flapjack at the top with Cheesecake, who I think is a hermaphrodite. She's got tusks like a ball, but the back end is like a girl, so I don't know. And Mellow Puff, that has never ever fallen pregnant. So they just go with the boys. Um, and then. I'll have just the girls over here and then I can um, get the maternity wards ready. It's going to take a little while because I've got to sort of fix fences like you can see this one over here. 
I've got to fix fences. I've got um, the houses are okay, but I've got to clean them out, put down diatomaceous earth, and yeah, put fresh straw in, get them ready. So um, I've looked on the the swine gestation calendar that I've got. I think apple pie is pregnant as well. So I've looked at the swine gestation calendar and any time from the 13th of April, I will have um, these six that are pregnant. I will have them having babies. I don't know, Maggie might be. I'm not too sure. I'm starting to think she might be. So then I've got seven. But I've got quite a waiting list um, for piglets. I had someone contact me again today. Um, it's constant. Hey. But the thing is, is like you wanting to um, sell the piglets when they are eight weeks old. Um, gingerbreads ones are a bit older. And that's because the person buying gingerbreads piglets are buying some from Coca Pop as well, and they're only wanting to make the trip once, so they know they are going to be a bit older. But people don't want to buy older if 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 they get to like four months old. People rather um, get them as little piglets, and then they can. Um, tame them nicely so this little black one over here is a male and the spotted one over there is a female but you can see cinnamon bun is definitely looking very swell so she carry tends to carry quite heavy cinnamon bun and she's starting to bag up a little bit you can see over there she's getting a bit slack at the back but yeah it's about She's about a month out, I think. But I'm wanting to separate them from the males because I don't want any new um, pregnancies because I don't want pregnancies during the hot months. So Cocoa Pop will only get uh, be mated in June. And I don't know. I'm still thinking the, the, the vet is thinking that maybe we can try again with jelly beans so i'll go on what the vet says here's your cute little face hey not you maggie this one's cute little face where's your cute face you're gonna show us your cute face too busy eating yeah so this is a little female Yeah, Maggie's starting to look a bit swell, so I think April and May we'll be having piglets. You scratching? I'm not a post! Oh my goodness, Cupcake! Not Cupcake, Cocoa Pop. And now you're going for my pants and my shoes. What are you doing? What are you doing with my shoes? And you, madam, yes, Princess Coco Pop, you're my princess, eh? Yes, you're such a good girl. What are you doing attacking these shoes? They love the Velcro, I don't know what it is. <laughs> they love the Velcro. you such fatty boom booms. Yeah, I can hear you with my Velcro. What are they doing? They're taking my shoes off. What?
Oh, you're a sweetie. You little sweetie. You're a cutie pie, you are. Look at your little nose. And what are you? Grunting around. No, what are you being so mean to them for? Are we back to the shoes? Are we back to the shoes? You back to my finger? Yes. It's my finger. Let's take some of this wood for firewood tonight. I'm going to have to show you my crazy idea. Me? Yeah. No, you. My crazy idea. You're not going to believe my crazy idea. You're going to think, Cindy, how on earth did you come up with such a brilliant, crazy idea? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. So Kim is showing that young people are almost as strong as old people like me. Oh my goodness. So Tarzan titties, that's where you are. <laughs> I didn't weigh anything. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to pick this one. Oh, she's bursting a gasket. Ah! What? You know the gasket in the car what engine? You you're bursting the gasket, lifting it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, now I've got these um, flimsy pieces of wood, and then, but look what I, yeah, so, so I want to make a frame yeah. that the tin goes on, but look at these cool things I've got. Yeah. So if I can attach that, but like that, yeah. um, attach that onto this, yeah. and then on the, um, yeah, on the other side I've got that. So then when it, so it's going to basically, well, that'll be like that. And then it'll drop down. Oh, okay. But you're going to need some wood. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. But you're going to put it like this. Yes. Yes, like that. I think you need like a little bit of wood. Yeah. Because this is higher. So you're going to put a little... Thin piece between here, and then it'll fit. And then I thought if because you screw this on there, it's not gonna fit because this is smaller. Oh, that's not gonna fit. No, 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 that's not gonna go in there. It's okay. that other piece that's going on. Well, this might work actually. Yeah, no, but but that big piece I want to put on the frame. So then all I've got to do on like the gate posts yeah, you put is put the, the small gate. ones, and then I can put it by Coco Pops gate thing you know that goes from the one pen to the other and then jelly beans one from oh, the one yeah. pen to the other and then that way if i move that barricade thing yeah, around move the entire thing around then then i can just drop it into that's my oh, idea i think, I think it'd be a good idea i might have a boor marker plan a good marker plan a boor marker a plan, boor marker plan. And then I got, because I thought if I've got to make like a pallet gate or something, mm -hmm. I want to make a gate next to Coco Pop's pen. On the outside. On the over here. Yeah. So that if she gets out, she's not going to come this way. Mm. So I've got some of those too. But yeah, just the boer maker plan story. Boer maker plan. I know why I parked my car there, because... I did. Yeah, but now you can hardly come through there with a wheelbarrow. So Kim is going to try and show me how she's going to move 125 kilos. I need to go fast that part. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. She's activate getting the core. Oh my goodness! Activate the oh, core. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a show off! She's actually running. I can't believe it. I can do it with just my middle finger. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. You're going to burst a valve. Forget about a gasket. Are we going to put it on top of that and then try and... Yeah, but now barricade it so that it doesn't come off. Because this isn't even wet. We thought it is, but it's not. Have you shown them what, we did? what I did? Have you shown them? Yeah, so we thought, because Nick said, oh, that cement has all gone hard. I can throw it in here. Yeah, so that cement had gotten wet. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'll just toss it in here. And then the bag ripped. It's not even hard at all. It's just the top was hard, but this is all soft. 
Yeah, and it's rained and it still hasn't got hard. So, but this, yeah, we'll have to remove this bag. Ah, we don't want the bag in here. So I think that other cement might be able to be rescued. But the hard bits we'll throw in here and hopefully this, this cement will eventually turn into rocks. We've got to go and get rocks. Yeah, let's do that because there's rocks in front of your house. Where's it? a big one that's in front of your door. Have you, do you know how heavy it is to lift up? Yeah, but I like know. I've, I've, I've tried to, drag it. I've tried to lift these rocks and I nearly broke my back. I've taken all like the smaller ones and whatever from here already. Okay, so now we're going to try and cover it properly. Okay, now we just have to secure it. Let's get some rocks out of here. And then... I know we're not taking the rocks out of it. Don't be cheeky, Kim. You know, I'm still old enough to be your mother. I can put you over my lap and paddle your backside. <laughs> I have to do that. Can you just try and pick that up. No, I want to no, see if you can no. do it. You have to show them what this is. I can't, what I can do with this is uh, tow it. I cannot lift this. I like, don't think you're going to be able to tow that. Just just try and move it. Just try. Just try. Just see. I'm afraid of what's under there. <laughs> what? Hojas. Don't you hojas. know hojas? In South Africa, we call uh, little bags hojas. 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 Okay. Right, let's see. Let's I'm ready. Oh, I'm going to break my back. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're actually budging. You're moving it. You I'm are a powerhouse. Ooh, I just can't lift it, but I can move it. That's why I said I can tug it. I just cannot get it in there. Yeah. Ah! Oh, nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> there was a plant. A plant <laughs> touched you and you got scared. I thought, it was, I thought it was an animal. It's not. What it's was a plant. It? It's, it's not a chocha. Um, it's a vegetarian. But there's some up there I can lift. But you need that for the princess room? Yeah, there's okay. it for the princess room. But um, in... I've got sort of lots. I must just take the wheelbarrow into. Um, if I take the wheelbarrow into the pig pen, there's lots yeah. there. They, they there's all these tiny ones. Yeah, they yeah. move them all the time. So these bits with that you can't do much. They with um they burn so brilliantly in the fire. So I'm going to just fill a wheelbarrow full of bits for the fire. Now it's filming. It's got to be a square. Yeah, so we have been here getting this wood in the wheelbarrow for like 20 minutes, 80 minutes, and we've been talking a lot and I didn't press record. Sorry about that, Cindy. You know, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I was busy karate chopping. Wood. Yeah, she was. I threw a rock. <laughs> she threw a I rock, and I didn't rock. take it on video. And I nearly threw it into the thing. Oh, what I can do is get it and try it, see if you can do it again, and then put it in instead of on the outside. Yeah. Okay, let and me go get it. You all about shut put? Yeah, shut put and uh, what did you say? Chorchas. Chorchas. Okay. So she threw this rock. Where is it? It's gone. Where's the rock? It bounced off the chair. Off the chair? Oh, it's here. Okay. So she threw this rock from all the way over there. And she didn't get it in the triangle thing. But she did bounce it. So I'm going to give it another shot. Because I didn't video it the first time anyway. So we're just gonna do it all over. Influencer live hashtag. <laughs> right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yes. So we can do shot put. Oh, I oh the, the last yeah, time. Yeah, the other time. The first I think time I was used better. All my energy now I wanna now. try. Now I wanna try. <laughs> okay, you're gonna try. Okay. Just mind the hojas. 
<laughs> no, no, that's right this way. I got spaghetti. Okay. <clears throat> How did you do that? I don't think this will work because I've never done that before. Oh! 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 oh wow! So far. <laughs> I know! Unbelievable the power! Wow! Wow! Don't lose the rock. <laughs> I know it bounced. It hit the top of the um, thing and then it bounced. Well, that didn't do anything. Now we lost it. I will find it. Don't worry. Wow. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We can throw that one in as well. Where did he go? Oh. Did he go left? It bounced, I think, towards that way somewhere. Yeah? Okay. Kim has lost the rock. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. So wheelbarrow is here. Must take my washing in. Yeah, time to cook some dinner. So I'm going to try and do this house cleansing with a sage. Um, I've had researched how to do it because I've never done it before. But apparently, it's called smudging. So you have to light it and you have to let it catch on fire. And then you've got to let it, all the ends burn, apparently. Oh, it's making a bit of a mess. And then you get the smoke. So I'm getting this, I don't know if you can see the smoke coming off. And then you... You wave it around and like you can wave it around yourself good words to come out of your mouth only good things to see good things to hear I don't know all around you apparently so yeah still coming so then you do the corners and the around the doorways from what I understand so if I come this way, and so you've got to let the smoke come around the doorway. I don't know. See, it comes around windows. Room corners. So into the, like the room corners as well, this window around here, and apparently you've got to let it, um, you don't put it out, it's got to burn down to the bottom, so they say.
the kitchen now. Absolutely stunning. And everything organized. Look at that. So I hope you enjoyed the before and after shots of the kitchen. I thought there's so many new subscribers that it would be a good idea for me to show you what the kitchen looked like when I bought this place. It's hard to imagine. The cottage, um, they'd sort of fixed it up, put a new roof on, but um, I then moved the roof from the cottage onto the kitchen and put a new insulated roof um, using sandwich panels on um, the cottage. So, yeah, there were just two ruined walls. That's all there was for that kitchen. So, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, for those people who have been subscribing since the very beginning, you will remember what it looked like. But, yeah, just to jog your memory, I thought I'd share some shots. And in the meantime, stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.